This is the Recycling Scrap Metal Commodities and Economic Report, June 10, 2024. U.S. weekly raw steel production rose slightly to 1.74 million tons, down 0.5% from last year and down 2.6% year-to-date on slow U.S. manufacturing. WTI crude oil price fell to 75.38 a barrel on steady demand and good supply. U.S. weekly crude oil production was steady at 13.1 million barrels per day, as it remains just off the recent record high. The U.S. remains the number one global oil producer in the world and the number two crude oil exporter. I'm going to repeat that again. We're the number one oil producer in the world and the number two crude oil exporter in the world. The U.S. weekly oil rig count fell to 492, despite near record production on great productivity per well also on production discipline to maintain high prices and high profits. Scrap steel number one HMS price is still settling, but could be about $310 a gross ton on slow global manufacturing. Hot roll coil steel price fell to 36.58 a hundred weight, which is 732 a ton, below the price of 2004, 20 years ago. This was on slow US manufacturing and good supply. Copper price fell to $4.45 a pound on slow but increasing Chinese manufacturing. Aluminum price fell to $1.17 a pound, which is $25.78 a metric ton on the slow Chinese manufacturing, but as risk of short supply remains. China's May Caxton Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rose to 51.7, the fastest expansion in two years, but it's still pretty low. Export orders rose at a slower rate as output costs rose as well. U.S. June Real Clear Market TIPP Economic Optimism Index fell to 40.5, the lowest in six months. But consumers are more positive about the economy over the next six months. U.S. May New Jobs Report added a big 272,000 jobs, the most in five months and well above the 185,000 forecast. This is good news and bad news. The good news is more people are working and more people have more money, so they're buying more. This is bad in that it causes inflation. U.S. May average hourly earnings rose a big 4.1% versus the recent 2.7% inflation. When COVID first hit, inflation crashed and wages skyrocketed. It brought crazy high gains by workers. Inflation then rose and wage growth slowed, which hurt workers. Wage gains are now higher than inflation, though. U.S. total non-farm payrolls rose to 158.5 million, the most in American history and well above pre-COVID's 152.3 million. The record number of people making record amounts of money is driving the economy. Wall Street's Dow Jones Industrial Average rose 113 points to 38,799. This was on the strong jobs report and because of the good economy. That, as said, causes inflation that is keeping interest high, though. TARP system and TARP system parts for sale at Ben Lee. TARPs, arms, motors, controls, cylinders, and other TARP parts. Pioneer, Rollwright, Donovan, Arrow, U.S. TARP, O'Brien, and more. Call Benley at 734-722-8100 or order online at benley.com. This report by Greg Brown is brought to you by Benley, Roll-Off Trailers, Gondola Trailers, Crush Car Trailers, Lugger Trucks, and of course, Roll-Off Trailer and Roll-Off Truck Parts for Galbraith, Galfab, American, Dragon, and more. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope I'll have a safe and profitable week.